Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So, hi! I have a Halloween costume on. I'm an angel. Well, more so like a Victoria's Secret angel, but my way. What do we think? I put glitter in my hair for this. I have shimmer on my titties. It looks great. It's fun. I like this. What do we think? Let me know. Because yeah, I put glitter in my hair. If you guys want a really good glitter spray, I put it on my body too. This is for hair and body. Um, you know, kiss screw Monet's shimmer spray. This shit's the bomb. Eva NYC Queen Glitter Spray. This shit, I am shining like a diamond in the sky. Okay, anyways, <laughs> since this is going to be the last week of October leading up to Halloween, I decided in these videos I'm gonna be dressing up and just having fun reacting to content with you guys. And I can't wait because today's video is an MLM coach video. You guys love this series. Talking about multi-level marketing coaches, some of the crazy shit that they post, and this is an, like a really fun but still a crazy series. So before I hop into today's video though, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below before you'll be notified of every single video I post. And guys, because I feel like somebody's gonna ask for sure, the wings and my bodysuit that's laced, it's a lingerie piece, will be linked in the description below. The wings were $45, I think the bodysuit was around 15, so there you go. All right, so before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below so you'll be notified of every single video I post. And now without further ado, let's hop into this anti MLM Reacts video. Let's go. All right, guys, so again, as we know, MLM coaches are a whole different breed and something we have to talk about more of. We don't talk about this stuff enough. So the first thing we're gonna react to is from our favorite, Miss Dre. If you guys haven't checked out the video, definitely click up over here. But I reacted to a um, individual that is labeling herself as a network marketing coach named Dre or Dramus, whatever the hell. Um, I honestly could care less, but all I know is it says Dre. So we're gonna go with Dre. Um, Dre is the one, the only, that created a reaction to anti-MLM content. Um, to sum it up, she was reacting to a girl that had a very negative experience with an MLM. Now, this MLM, again, really manipulated her, screwed her over. This poor girl lost $5,000, had to go to the hospital because of health conditions, and her depression got bad. And what did Miss Dre do? Laugh about it, degrade her entirely, and completely tell her that there was no way that her depression could get worse from an MLM. So, if you already know that story or want to watch more of it, click over here, but nonetheless, yeah, let's watch this because we have more stuff that we need to talk about. Five steps for limiting beliefs. I already know this is gonna be a shit show. One of the top worst people I've reacted to so far. I'm sure it'll get worse. So here we go. You, that you're this midway okay so here's the deal we're talking about limiting beliefs right and this is a typical go-to for any network marketing coaches or just any leaders for that matter they talk about limiting beliefs as one of the main reasons why your business just goes to shit we saw that in one of the previous videos about MLM coaches talking about beliefs and why your business would fail um, was literally this it was yeah a nightmare and a half to say the least is what I hate that they are talking about 
about because they're talking about limiting beliefs in a way that's going to benefit them and keep you in the business longer. So for example, they're like, oh, you have limiting beliefs about this business. Of course you're not going to do well. And they try and mix in limiting beliefs with gut feelings and constructive thoughts about the MLM company. It's not a limiting belief. It's a, this is not going to work out for me. It's, this is actually not okay. I can feel this is wrong. It's a gut feeling. But they try and disregard that and label it as a limiting belief. And yeah, sure, they'll toss in, oh, if you have a limiting belief with a relationship or whatever, trying to mix that in. But overall, their goal and what they want you to do is to literally walk in blindly and listen to people like this about what to do in your company and to stay in as long as you can that way they can make a profit off of it. It isn't limiting beliefs. It's literally your body trying to protect yourself from problems. And if you start having a limiting belief arise, more than likely it's your gut feeling telling you that something is wrong and you need to get out. I'm so sick of these little MLM coaches thinking, oh, this limiting belief is just a limiting belief when it's actually you trying to protect yourself and it's true. What happens when you believe that limiting belief? I feel worthless. I feel inadequate. I feel unproductive. And the fourth question is, who would you be without that limiting belief? I would be powerful. I would be productive. I would be successful. I would be inspiring. And the fifth question is what I want you to do is I want you to reverse the statement, reverse the limiting belief, but then give up three examples of why that belief is not true. For example, I'm not lazy because I cleaned my house today. I'm not lazy because I showed up to this event. I'm not lazy because I studied all night last night. Give yourself three examples of why that limiting belief is not true. In the regular world, this type of coaching is smart. I like it. It's something that to me, I could look at as an everyday thing of why my limiting beliefs could be holding me back. So for example, if I start like talking down on myself or if I overthink, let's say, this is a good practice to approach, I think. But in regards to this statistically proven company not gonna work for you, no, it's not gonna work for shit. And then when you don't do well in the company, you're literally gonna have your mind already trained though, that it was because of your limited beliefs that you got there and that your comp that you failed in your MLM business, not that it actually failed you. That's where we have a problem with this, it's gross. You ask yourself these five questions. Is that true? Can you absolutely know that it's true? What happens when you believe that it's true? Who would you be without that thought? and reverse the statement and give examples, three examples of why it's not true. This is one way that you can identify the limiting beliefs and start to dissipate them. All right, guys, that was the first thing that we're gonna be reacting to. Now let's move on to this next one. I actually found this person on YouTube when I was looking up network marketing coaches. So, um, if I can give you a little bit of an example of this coach, and she seems like a sweet lady, but I just, this is giving me very much like, when social media first kicked off type vibes. But anyways, let's just watch. Let's just watch. Hey, my friend, it is Michelle Cunningham. And in today's video, we are talking about recruiting and why you might not be recruiting and what you can change immediately to start recruiting way more people. Okay, I have nine tips for you here. Okay, number nine on my list here is you're not seeing enough people. So here's the deal. Roughly one out of 15 people will join your team. And if you're only introducing your products to 15 people a month, you can anticipate you're only gonna recruit one person a month. So Ooh, that's yikes. One thing that I did was I challenged myself to beat my best day. I was always in competition with myself. Um, I would have a notebook that I, each day I would write down the date and put a tally for each person I had sent a message to. It looks something like this. So um, this is already a quote unquote network marketing coach that is literally encouraging you to cold message a shit ton of people. Never send less than 100 messages a day. A day. A hundred fucking messages a day. Oh my God, you need to be booking more appointments. So apparently this person's giving me very much like Mary Kay vibes in a way. But all I'm saying is the fact that she's encouraging a hundred messages a day and never less than that in order to get the results you want is literally so gross. No real company would ever require something like this. You need to be seeing way more people. And if you like the guide that you're seeing on the screen, in the description I put a link to this entire notebook 
that you can use for yourself, for your team, and share with other network marketers. Number eight, you want to work with people who are qualified to join your team. Who's qualified, you ask? That is someone who's tried the products. So you want to make sure you're getting everybody on your products first and then recruiting after they've fallen in love with the products and fallen in love with you. Number seven, are you in it to win it? No, seriously, when they go to your Facebook profile and they look, does it look like you're in it to win it? Is it clear that you're positive and you're uplifting and you're motivational and you're on a mission and you're going to the top and you're taking your team with you and you love the products? Are you making all of that clear? Not that you have to be posting all about your products, but you can post curiosity posts and make it very clear that you are building something that's unique that you absolutely love. As much as you think people aren't watching or paying attention, they are, and they're determining if they want to join your team. So make sure that you show up like you are in it to win it. Number six, are you asking? No, seriously, have you asked all the people that you've introduced your products to in the last 30 days to join your team? It says, are you asking anyone who has purchased the products, I believe, to join your team? Which is one of the easiest surefire ways to make people run away from you, but yeah, okay, let's encourage that. This part says, are you asking? A lot of times people are recruiting because they simply aren't recruiting because they aren't asking. Have you asked all the people you introduced your products to in the last 30 days to join your team? Here's a way to do that. And again, there's a lovely little thing that you can copy and paste apparently to send it to your potential recruits. This says, hey Sarah, I was just checking on your products and I wanted to see how everything is working out for you. Also, there's a crazy promotion going on right now where you can join and save a ton of money on your products while also making money. Any interest and hearing a little bit more so the same shit the same quote-unquote promotion essentially lying to the customers that you just got super Michelle I love that for us already proves to me that the, whatever part of co whatever company she's a part of but also because this is a network marketing coaching video and not about any specific MLM this is about any company in general because this is not genuinely about products because if it was just about products or you would be fine with product sales then you would be completely satisfied if somebody purchased the products and moved on or was a consistent customer. But instead, we have this problem where she's like, oh, have you at all asked the people that have purchased products to come join your team? Hell no. Here's a great script for you. And if you're like, well, that's a good script, I want it. Again, then just click the link below in the description and you can access this entire guide Print it off. I am about two seconds away from ripping off these fucking wings and not being an angel anymore. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> off and use it because these scripts matter. And when you actually ask people, they will actually join your team. Sometimes people just aren't asking. Number five, people join because they love the products and they love you. And so you've got to remember that if it's been too long since they've used the products or been in front of you, they've probably forgotten why they wanted to join your team. So I put some scripts here that you can use to reintroduce them back to the products so they fall in love with you again, fall in love with the products, and then they want to join your team. I was the... Ooh! So what does that mean for us? I, even though I, um, you, you haven't purchased a product in a while, probably because you just don't fucking like it and want to ignore said person, um, I'm going to send you a message again. Do you want to join my team? Or better yet, do you want to at least like purchase products? Something? Real? Yeah. Anything? Please. I'm recruiting people the second time I was in front of them. Whether it was at a Facebook Live event, whether it was in person, however it was, because I was building that relationship. It wasn't just the one time. It was like, oh, I'm back again. Here, and now we're friends again. And you like my products again. You remember you like. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in front of you again. Do you want to join? Say yes, or I will come through your window at night. You like me, and those were the people that would just, boom, join my team like crazy. And people on my team would say, Michelle, seems like everyone that's in front of you joins. And I'm like, well, that's because it's their second time or third time in front of me. Or because I just harass the living shit out of them until they just give in. Girl boss! So don't ever meet someone one time or introduce them to your products one time. Make it multiple times and your recruiting will go up exponentially. Number four, I know some people say scripts don't work. No, no, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't think that's accurate. I don't because I had some really good scripts and when, when I used them, they worked and they generated tons of leads for me. So what I did is I gave you a boatload of scripts in my guide below. So just go below the video, click it. It's totally free. You can grab all these scripts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So there's a bunch of scripts that she has this fun little description box for you to use to recruit people. Oh my God. Imagine putting this much effort into a real business. Like nine, nine scripts in there that you can use to generate way more business and more recruits on your team. So I put those there for you. Scripts matter. Number three, keep it cool. Like keep it cool. And remember, things about people. No, seriously, Tom Chenault, okay, this guy's amazing. Tom Chenault built a downline of over 1 million reps. Like, think about that for a second. A million people were on his team. And one of the gifts that Tom has is that Tom never forgets any details about the people that he meets. He knows my kids' names. He knows, like, where I grew up. He knows where I live now. He knows everything about me. Please don't. If you're watching this, and if you are part of an MLM, all I gotta say is please don't go that far. Don't know where somebody lives. Don't know where they grow up. Don't do that. That's called stalker, okay? That's not successful business owner. That is very much a stalker. Let's not do that, okay? Yeah. And the way that he does that is he uses an app called trackyourcontacts.com. Head over to his app. It's totally free. He created it himself because he knew that his gift and the reason he built so powerfully and so many people loved him and so many people wanted to be around him was because he remembered details about them and made them feel important. He has a fucking app. He, he has a fucking app for the, I'm done. I'm done. What in the absolute boss babe fuck is going on? I, this is going to be my boss babe repellent spray. Eva NYC sponsored me, girl. Okay, no, for real though. Sat down and was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a database of everyone that I talk to. So all I got to do is look up their name real quickly in my search and be like, oh, hi, you're from Jersey and you got three kids. How's Bobby doing? No, I found out some creepy ass weirdo had my name, my kids' names and shit in a fucking app to track me. Someone's getting their ass beat. The wings are coming off. I'm taking them off and someone's getting rocked tonight. I don't care. That's the name of the game. If we want to attract our clients to join our team, we want to retain reps on our team, we want to make them feel important. And when you remember details about someone's life, they feel important. So just head to trackyourcontacts.com. You can check that out. It's pretty awesome. I also put the link in the free guide below so that you don't have to like remember that if you're busy right now. Okay, number two, try a three-way chat. Like, on Facebook, you can literally do Oh boy, here we go, we're not done yet. Three-way chat, if you still aren't recruiting, try to do a three-way chat, Facebook chat with that person. Yourself and one of your uplines who maybe has a similar story and could share a little bit of their own experience. Ooh, so you know what we call that, or what I call that? That's called cornering someone. You know, if it's just me and I have two other people try and pressure me into doing something, I feel like that's cornering and trying to overpower their mentality. And for somebody that's vulnerable, that's very not okay to do. Don't do that. I've been on one of those three-way chats. Actually, yeah, I have been because I was on a call with, uh, this is when I did my Arbonne deep dive. I did a catfishing where I pretended to be someone interested in the business and I catfished some people, part of Arbonne. And originally I thought it was gonna be one person. And then when I got on the FaceTime call, I was like, cause at first I thought it was gonna be a phone call, but then it was on FaceTime and I was like, oh fuck. So I had to make sure that I could, no one could see like me scream, uh, recording the voiceover, but I didn't know she was inviting her upline. I had no idea anyone was gonna be there, so I had to play it off so well. Uh, yeah, most uncomfortable thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. And if you do that, and if that's the only way you can get people, you are literally manipulating them and making them uncomfortable. That is not okay. A, a three-way Facebook chat. You, someone on your team, maybe it's an upline, maybe it's a level line, like just someone even with you. Maybe it's someone that has a similar story to the person you're trying to recruit. Maybe this is a nurse and she's a nurse. And you put them in a three-way chat together. And this nurse who joined two months ago says, yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't think I could really do this, but I don't know, I made $400 last month and I'm like, sweet, 400 bucks is helpful for my family. That person will help to recruit this person. And so it doesn't always have to be the top level, big head honcho who's making like eight million a year. It doesn't have to be that person. It can just be somebody who just got started, who is succeeding and really special by sharing their inspirational story with someone new that's coming on board. Number one, make sure that when they say, awesome, I'm gonna think about it, <laughs> you give them something to think about, meaning you give them information. The worst thing you can do is you let them run off and do their own online research. Cause I don't know about- Done, that's it. I can't do this anymore. 
I'm gonna break these things and they're too nice. The worst thing that they can do is do their own online research. Did I hear that right? So thinking for themselves is the worst thing they could do. Oh my God, Michelle. But no matter what company you're with, if you type the name of your company with the word scam after it, which is what most people are gonna do when they wanna find out if your company is a scam or not, there's probably gonna be some negative stuff that's gonna pop up. Why? Because that's just the nature of the internet, okay? So I made sure that I provided them some valuable information that they could use and look through. And Strawberry Shortcake over here is telling us to give selective information, pretty much. Give what you want them to read through because you don't want them to find out that they're a real company. That's how the internet works. No, I think it's just them learning and finding out actual information. And now that the anti-MLM commentary stuff has popped off, oh baby, every time someone types in Saint Scam, Monet Scam, they find people like us. And good. What the hell is wrong with you, Michelle? God! Then they could make a decision from there. So you can send them off with a YouTube video from someone from your team, maybe the company website, maybe. Send them my YouTube videos. I gotta hold the truth series down below and a document full of MLM backs. Do it. That's the truth. This? No, absolutely not. Website where you put together some really good informational videos and trainings and stuff that they can look. Maybe you add them into a Facebook group with your team and so they get to see, oh my gosh, look at all these people winning in here. I wish, I wish someone could get me into some of these teams, uh, like Facebook groups or training groups. Oh God, I would pay because the amount of gold information in those, it's messy. It's messy stuff that you don't want to get out, but I would love to get in and watch. Just think about that when they say, yeah, I'm going to do some research. That's a, we will raise a red flag on that one. Wait, oh, okay, yeah, I'll send you some info too, just to help out. We're going to look her up more on YouTube. This is a gold mine of what the fucks. Michelle. Oh, she's a Mary Kay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh God. All right, guys, here's another one that we're gonna watch called How to Always Stay Positive in Network Marketing. What do we got, Michelle? What do we got, Pinkie Pie? This one's pretty good because I feel like sometimes we just need to remember that, that as we're building a business, the higher the level, the bigger the devil. And like, as my business- And we just started, what? The higher the level, the bigger the devil. You're fucking right, Michelle. Your rap, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so perfect for Halloween week because this shit's so terrifying. And like, I can't help but laugh because it's like, you're proving my, I don't even have to say shit. We can just watch this. Oh boy. <laughs> so did the number of customer complaints. Obviously, as you have more customers, you're gonna get more refunds or returns. As my team grew, if I just had an issue with one person, as it got bigger, there was more people. And so, and, and I didn't realize that. Like when it started to grow, I remember reaching out to my mentor and being like, you don't understand. Like there's a lot of like customers that are not happy and there's, there's so many more people saying no and there's so many more this. She's like, cause you're doing a higher volume. When you have higher volume, you're gonna get higher rejection. You're gonna get higher issues. You're gonna get higher, you know, customer service issues. You're gonna get higher upset people. Like, and not that that was happening everywhere, but when you get like five in a day, it felt like the world is imploding. But when you look at how many people you're dealing with, it's totally fine. And I share that with you because you will get to a point if you're not already there where it feels like that. Where it's like, ah, everything's falling apart. No, it's not. Just today is a day where things, there's a lot happening and that's okay. Don't focus on the things that are not going right. Fix them and then focus on the things that are great. I never would just like be upset about a thing. Like, yeah, sure, sometimes it hurt my heart, but I wouldn't like take that to the dinner table and then talk about it. Like, business as an entrepreneur, it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. So anything bad that happens in your journey, just know it's a lesson. It's gonna make you stronger. It's gonna make you more resilient and more fearless. And so welcome the things that are hard. Just welcome them. Okay, let's first of all talk about the music in this. Absolutely coasting me through this absolute fucking roller coaster of what the hell. I am not gonna lie, I know she seems super sweet here right now, but I, again, just my personal opinion, I feel like she would be one of those that would pull you aside if you wore the wrong pair of shoes. What do I even say about, like, I, we're gonna keep going. Figure out a little way to get around that little roadblock 
And then now you've got a teachable moment, a lesson you can teach your, your team, but you also have something that's just, I don't know, makes you like a warrior with your shield or something. Okay, so I just wanna remind you though this, on your journey, that you come first, okay? You come first in everything that you do. And so you've gotta to remember to take care of yourself first, whatever that is. If it's a 30 minute workout, if it's eating right, whatever, meditating, whatever fills your cup, do that every day so that you have more of you to give to others, okay? You are worth it. You are a powerhouse. You are an inspiration. You are called to a new level. And even if you feel like a mess some days, <laughs> even if things are not perfect, focus every day on progress, not perfection. Tony Robbins says the key to true happiness is progress. So if you just focus every day on a little bit of progress or having massive progress, whatever that is, so that when you put your head on your pillow at night, you say, you know what? I'm, I couldn't have done any more today for my business. I couldn't have done any more today for like taking care of me and my family. Like I gave it my all. And so when you can put your head on the pillow at night and say that, then you've done exactly what you need to be doing. If you felt a dream in your heart that feels bigger than you, honor that calling. I don't believe that God puts a dream in our heart unless he's given you the ability to achieve it. Any effort that you put out there, I believe it will be blessed. Not always right away, right? Sometimes I do a lot of work over here and then like three days later, I'd get hit with blessings over here. And I was like, oh, that was because I did the, right? So sometimes we're like, where are my blessings? I'm like, well, you, God will bless your efforts when you've given him something to bless. Are you putting in the effort? You gotta put in the effort. You actually are awesome. I think we miss Bible study on this day, Miss Michelle, okay? God's not gonna bless everything you do. That's one thing I know, okay? I don't know everything, I'm not perfect, but that is something I do know. He's not gonna just bless everything you do because not everything is ethical and great. I'm just saying. And again, wherever she is in a relationship, go for it. But God is not gonna be supportive of harassing people, sending copy and paste at least bare minimum of 100 messages every day, um, and gatekeeping information. I just don't think he's gonna ride with that, but again, that's... You actually are powerful. You are actually called to greatness, and you have this, you can read this and put it on your wall. You actually are an inspiration, and you have a gift to offer this world, packaged up in its perfectly imperfect way. And how you show up and the lives that you impact matters. And just know that there's people out there that want to hear from you. They want their life to change and you can be that beacon of hope for so many people. So many people need hope right now. And what you offer and what you do can offer so many people hope. This is your permission slip to own your awesome, put yourself first because your awesomeness will inspire thousands of lives around the world. So let that awesomeness shine by ignoring all the noise and doing what totally fills your cup first. It will require changes and systems and programs and strategies. And I've got a training for you. If you go to Big Break Shell, actually, that's some good advice. I am letting my awesomeness shine, okay? I'm letting my awesomeness shine. I'm filling my cup of taking down this shitty, what the hell is that? That's a feather, my bad. I'm filling up my cup by actively trying to screw over multi-level marketing companies. I find beautiful joy in that while in the process of helping other people as I do it. So I'm doing great and I'm gonna take your advice and take your permission to do this. <laughs> if you go to bigbreakthroughacademy.com, bigbreakthroughacademy.com, you can see us, it's a 45 minute training on how I went from stuck for, for six years to unstuck and having a team of 50 just six months later. I share exactly how I did it, the six things that I did differently and I give you tips on all of them, bigbreakthroughacademy.com. So, it, it, it's going to require changes, systems, programs, strategy, and how to be needed less. You, you need to be needed less so that you can focus more in your business and win more in your business. Focus on being proactive all the time and less reactive, which drains your soul and takes so much of your time away from what really matters. So that is my training. Absolutely, Michelle. I agree with you so much on that because again, um, Taking your advice, I've been showing up and actively trying to make a difference in the world, and I see it's doing something. I have been actively following that advice, and I truly think it's doing, it's doing something good. So
Wow. I don't even, like, I just am, there's a lot of thoughts and feelings going on in this noggin, and that was MLM coaches. That is all I gotta say. So, what did we learn today, guys? Um, We learned, apparently, in a lot of companies, or in any multi-level marketing company, apparently there's an encouragement from some people to cold message. A hundred people every day, bare minimum. Um, there's some that don't encourage that, I guess. But there's also some that focus more on the limiting beliefs, even though it's your gut feeling telling you to get out and run. Um, and just keep going. You've got this, which I will most definitely be following now. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Again, check out my other MLM coaches videos. Um, if you guys want to know anything about the wings or this, go for it and check it out in the description below. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Stay glowing, my queens. I love you.